A plan by the Texas House of Representatives to defund the Texas Moving Images Incentive Program is making some younger filmmakers rethink their decision to film in Texas. I could name at least 20 of my peers who have already decided they're going to do it. They're going to graduate in a few months and they're going to Los Angeles. The current program lets Texas filmmakers save up to 20 percent on expenses like wages. Large budget films will be the hardest hit under the proposed plan. However, independent filmmaker Carrie Cates believes that film in Austin will persevere. Uh, many filmmakers here are sort of a grassroots filmmakers and they're going to figure out ways to make things happen anyway. It just sort of, the city sort of attracts people like that. You never go into filmmaking because it's going to be easy. The House voted earlier this month to cut all $34 million from the Film Incentives Program. Now, the Senate has yet to vote, but their proposed budget gives $3.2 million to the program. A final decision will be made after a committee conference at the end of the legislative session. According to Dr. Jim Henson, director of the Texas Politics Project, the disagreement between either side of the plan boils down to money. One person's effort at economic and, and labor development and trying to create jobs is another person's waste of money, subsidy, interference with the market. And this year is an especially stressful year when it comes to government money. It's a fiscally tight session. The budget battles have been shaped by a shortage of revenue as a result of, ironically enough, the, the oil crash. Haley Squires, Texas News Watch.